Hey everybody, we're here tonight with Travis, one of Collex's biggest power users. Travis, you're based in Virginia? Uh, yes, sir, Elkton, Virginia. Elkton, Virginia. And and Travis, uh, remind me, how many cards have you scanned in the Collex app? Um, it's 7,200, 7,300, uh, and many, many more to go. That is awesome. You've been cranking, you've been, you've been scanning a ton of cards. And I, I'll uh, be candid, like the reason I wanted to hop on tonight to talk to you and share your story with some of the other Collects, uh, Collects community is because you have been, from what I've seen so far, one of the most prolific uh, people uh, buying, selling, trading um, on the app so far. And uh, I think it's really cool. I, I, I got to know you because you, you, you initiated a trade with me. You've now yeah. done a couple trades. And yeah. I think you did the, uh, and then I, I got a message from my, my sister not too long ago. And she's like, my, you know, you know, uh, my son or my, my nephew, um, just, just traded with somebody in the app. And I just like, well, who was it? And it's Travis. So, yeah. um, you've been, uh, you've been on fire and I know how many, how many have you done so far? How many transactions have you done through the collection? Um, I've, uh, let's see, I've done 15, um, and then working on 16 to 17 today. Um, one of them was kind of while I was driving up the road um, to come down um, where I'm staying in uh, South Carolina today. So uh, be careful. Going do not do not uh, collect trade while driving. That's dangerous. <laughs> um, but that's it, it's really awesome. And I uh, I mean I I think you know, you know a lot of people know that that at Collects we're, we we want to build an experience where we can help facilitate these trades and and sales um all through the app but it's you know a lot of that isn't built yet to be honest so we're we're still we're still uh, figuring out how to engineer all those pieces and we hope to have them live pretty soon but i think it's really your story is so cool because you've you've done it right where there's a will yeah <laughs> so um so i just i thought it would be cool for our uh for our other users to be able to share a little bit about how you how you've done this and okay. um and and just to walk them through it so Walk us through just like, you know, the first, you know, the first couple of deals that you've done on the app. How did you, uh, like, how did it start? Were you looking for a specific card? And um, yes, yes and no. Um, I mean, at first it was, hey, I, I want to look for uh, this specific card. Um, and then it kind of, it kind of morphed from there. Um, then I started thinking of, you know, some of those cards that I used to have whenever I first started collecting, um, back whenever I was my son's age, I was like, oh, Nolan Ryan. So, um, I went into the, the little search option on collects, typed in Nolan Ryan, and then, um, moved it over. And this is kind of trial by error. And, you know, a lot of time spent on the app on how to manipulate it. Um, so I would move the, uh, uh, the selection over to the for sale section. Um, Tell you what, on... I'm going to, I'm going to, if it's okay with you, Travis, I'm going to share my screen. So Travis, I'm sharing my screen now and we're, uh, we're on the home screen of the app and I'm just going to go to the, the search at the top left yep. and we'll, uh, we'll search for Nolan Ryan. Okay. Right. So you search and by default, you get like the database, all the collects cards, but what you said you did. To go to the yeah. uh, the for sale. Yeah, thing. I'll, I'll yeah I'll move it over to the for sale um, option, and and kind of go through that list um, there. So if I'm looking for, say Nolan Ryan's 1966, um, which is you know his rookie card, um, you know I would see if it's in that on that list for sale. Um, and then I whenever I, do, I don't see that card sadly um okay but you would you would go through and find you know well that i mean that's fine and just uh go ahead and click on uh, just pick one um the 1990 upper deck number 34 that's yeah. mine <laughs> oh that's you okay okay and so, so then, we'll, we'll, actually it's great because we can use you as a guinea pig and we won't be uh bugging other people on the app this way but so so if this was a card that, that you were interested in purchasing or if i was interested in purchasing for you um you would, uh, I take it, just just go ahead and hit the the message icon there next to your uh, avatar. Either, either that or or what I also to do is okay. Say you know I have that uh, that card listed for thirty five dollars. 
Um, so then I'll actually click the uh, view card in the collects database. And then it pulls up, um, you know, some of the current pricing, but I'll scroll all the way down and see how many people actually have the card, that, that card that I want. So I'll go ahead and, so there's 80 people that have that card. So I would click on the view um, tab and scroll down and see who has that card um, either in the price range that I like or um, if, it's, if, it's a, if it's a certain card, um, I'll just click on um, you know, whoever has that card and just message, message them and say, hey, I'm interested in this card. Um, are you interested in, in trading it for something that's in my collection? Okay. So, so we'll use you as the example of that, just, just cause, uh, it's, it's an easy way so, so that I can message you and, and not, uh, not bug other people. So you tap on the message icon yep. and the card pops up right in the, uh, right in the messaging thread. Yep. So, uh, yeah. So then the end user or whoever I'm contacting, they automatically know what card I'm talking about. Um, and then I'll just type a, a nice, little message at the bottom um hey i'm say, like you know maybe you know would you take take 30 bucks for this instead or 30 30 dollars like that you know if you want to maybe if the if the if the asking price was a little too a little higher than you were willing to spend or you know uh or or you or you meet them you say i'll take it as is yeah well what happens when like when you want to negotiate a, a trade like, cause I know you've done a ton of trades on the app. So yeah, how no, would you do that? Um, so, I mean, real similar. Um, so I would contact the individual um, and, and, you know, tag uh, the card that I wanted. Um, and then I'll ask them, you know, hey, are you interested in, in trading this card uh, for something out of my collection? Um, in some cases, you know, they'll say, no, I'm not looking to sell. Uh, I'm not looking to trade. Um, I'm, I'm not really interested in doing anything with a card. And then I just, okay, thanks. I appreciate your time. Um, but then I'll have, you know, other people that will say, well, yeah, sure. Um, either what are you offering for that card? Um, or, hey, let me search your collection and um, we'll just carry on that conversation back and forth. Um, yeah, I mean, so I, I, you know, I can say from having done this with you, what I do then, I'm going to give my own experience. I'll go in and I'll tap on the, uh, the it, it, I don't know if you missed that, but the view profile at the top and then the collection. And yeah. then you can go in and Travis is a very large collection, so it takes a second to load. <laughs> um, but, uh, but once you uh, load up the collection, you can go through his items and you can say, you know, oh, this is a car, you know, oh, I, I love Randall Cunningham. That's maybe a card that I would want. So I'll go ahead and tap that. And now I've added that to the thread as well. So, yeah. um, so that's a way in, that you can, you, can, you can sort of propose another card from their collection. Have you ever tried adding a card from your collection like this? Like you yes. say, oh, maybe you want my Michael Jordan card and you can add that as well. Yeah, I, I, I've done it that way. And then I've also, because um, I have access to my collection whenever I'm at home, uh, I mean, I can get to it, um, you know, pretty quickly and, you know, pull, you know, five or six cards together and then uh, just click the, um, uh, the little um, uh, paper clip and it'll pull up uh, a camera option so that you can take a picture, you know, right from this little message within collects and take a picture like of that. Yep. Go like that and just add that card. And photo, even and if then, it isn't in your collection yet, you can just you can just quickly snap a photo and take a picture yep. of one card, a bunch of cards, do it like that. Yep. Um, that's really great. So so once you've gone back and forth with the person and you've you've agreed on a trade, um, what next? What do you do after after that? Uh, so so whenever. Everybody's happy. Um, what we do is, or the way that I've done it uh, so far is um, go to the post office um, 
and you know I'll pay for the shipping of those cards to that particular person um, and go to the post office, priority mail, um, create the shipping label, um, and then give them the tracking number of that priority mail um, so that they've got a tracking number, they know that I've sent it, um, and then they, they do the same in return. And yeah, um, I, I mean, here I can even go back and some of our our, our uh, interactions. Right, you'll actually just send a, a picture of the uh, of of the package, so you got yep. the uh, you got the tracking. And and I mean, I'm I know I'm being a little master of the obvious because we've done this a couple times, but um, yeah. you'll also obviously give them uh, you know, if, if there's payment being exchanged, give them a what you know Venmo, PayPal, things like that, right? Yeah. So I've I've actually purchased um, some cards through Collects similar fashion um instead of um you know a, a trade so to speak um i'll get their paypal information and then paypal them the money uh yeah. and then they, they they get it right then and there right and and in most cases are you having uh i'm just curious like uh, like in those in those situations where you were buying from another seller were you paying shipping did they add shipping into it did they tell you yeah. how much yeah, I, I added, you know, say it was um, the particular card that I'm thinking of. I, th I think I purchased it for $20. Um, and then the shipping itself was like eight bucks. So I sent them um, $28. And then so that covered the shipping. That's great. I mean, I mean definitely, you know, if, if it's if, you know, with the, with a the trade, um, the shipping should be real similar on both sides. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's worth, you know, haggling you know, over that. Yeah. You know, or, or, you know, trying to hash all that out. You know, I ship my cards, you ship yours. And, you know, so both parties have, you know, the shipping cost either way. So, Travis, what's a, a, a like a, what's one of the, the cards you're, you're hunting for right now? Do you have any grail cards in your, in your list? Uh, uh, 1981 Joe Montana. All right, so 1981 Joe Montana. And I, I've reached out to so many people on the app about this. Um, yeah, definitely a few people selling it uh, for yeah, wildly yeah. different prices. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever gone in? I'm just curious. Like, so if you're doing this 1981 uh, Joe, I got to keep spelling Montana. Yeah, there it is. So have you ever gone in and like, you know, let's see, you got 73 users on the app that have this card. Mm -hmm. I mean, you obviously only have a handful that are that have listed it for sale, but have you ever gone in and messaged these people as well and said, would you be willing okay. to sell that card? Absolutely. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, even though that they haven't listed it for sale, um, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's somebody who's who's actually loading in a collection to to sell it or they're just trying to get a, a price point on their cards. Yeah. But if somebody's got it and I'm after it, I'm I'm going to message everybody. This um, is a pretty nice one, too, if this is uh, legit. I mean, this guy, so he added it three days ago and it's uh, he says it's a PSA 8. Um, pretty good one yeah that one's in really good shape and and i i'm pretty sure that i reached out to uh to eric and he is not selling or he's interested in selling it but he's not interested in trading it got um, it well that's cool very cool well this is yeah. great i mean yeah. uh I, th I think it's super helpful just to see the process that you use and uh you know both using the search i'm curious like when you've gone through the uh the activity feed in the app right You've also got a lot of cards for sale here. Have you found any there, you know, this way that you've been interested in that you've uh, taken action on? Um, yeah, I mean, there's been a couple. Um, there was actually a couple uh, that popped up um, across the uh, either the featured listings or uh, the actual news feed itself of people who've um, recently updated or loaded a card. Um, there was a couple people that I reached out to today. Um, uh, one guy in particular, it was a Champ Bailey um, Georgia football card prior to him going pro, um, reached out to him. Uh, I haven't gotten a response back on that one yet, but um, 
uh, I've got my fingers crossed. Um, so, but no, I'm, it, I mean, it's been a, a lot of fun going through and, and you see cards and um, some people have some awesome collections. Um, there was there was somebody that I ran across last night that everything was graded and everything was in between 1950 and 1960. Um, and I just had to say, you know, impressive collection. Um, you know, this is, I, I found collects oldest graded, you know, selection on, on the collects app. It was, uh, it's pretty impressive. That's really cool. All right. So any final words of wisdom for, for people? So, if it, you know, we get, we get people all the time sending uh, in emails, reaching out to me saying, I want to, I want to buy cards. I want to sell cards. What would you say is, is sort of the best place to start? best place to start is, um, you know, find somebody who has a card that you're interested in, um, whether you're interested in buying it or trading it or you know, trying to work out some sort of deal is to message them. Um, I think that that's how you get the conversation going. Um, you know, don't be afraid to reach out to somebody and, um, you know, they can say, no, you know, I'm not interested in selling it or, um, yeah. Hey, let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just to compliment them on their like amazing collection of graded cards, right? Just like start the, yeah. start the conversation. Yeah. Just, I mean, don't, don't be afraid to reach out to uh, people. Um, I think that I've reached out to 150 people on the app, um, and got a response out of at least 90% either, um, yeah, hey, you know, let's trade, let's make a deal, um, let's do something. Or, no, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in selling right now, but I'll keep you in mind. Um, and I think that that kind of goes a long way too. Is just, hey, I'm taking interest in something that you have, so then uh, that conversation can can happen. That is awesome. Thank you so much for spending some time with us late night to talk about. Uh about about doing all this on the collects app it is awesome super psyched to have you as part of the collects community and i hope everybody follows travis he's one of our featured users in the app so you can find him in the top of the top of yep. the app and uh yep. check agree. out his collection and uh you know don't be shy and reach out yeah absolutely all right have a good night travis thanks appreciate it